I'm Beth Altimus with the Canandaigua Lake Watershed Education Program. And I've been out here in Briggs Gully at the Coming Nature Center today collecting some aquatic macro invertebrates. Now Briggs Gully is a very high quality stream, which means it has nice, clean, highly oxygenated flowing water. And so it's home to a lot of really neat, sensitive macro invertebrates. So I'd like to show you one of them that I found today. And this is a northern casemaker, caddisfly. And what I love about the caddisflies is in order to protect their soft bodies, they actually construct these beautifully engineered cases for themselves out of either sticks or pebbles and gravel or little, even little bits of shredded leaves. So each species of caddisfly will make its own unique case. So this one is really cool and you can see it sort of uh, walking around in there. Here's another one here. You can see they both make their cases in, in fairly similar fashion here. So this is one type of caddisfly. Now the way the caddisfly, caddisflies do this is they actually secrete this almost like a waterproof double-sided sticky tape. And they use that to collect, they, they go in the water and they collect whatever their preferred size and shape and type of material is, and they stick it all together in their particular way, which makes a happy little protective home for them. We actually have another kind of caddisfly in here. I simply lifted a rock out of the stream and you'll, these guys are another case-making caddisfly and they tend to cluster on rocks like that. And you can see these caddisflies have made their homes out of little tiny uniform bits of stone. So really, really beautiful. There are lots of case make or caddisflies rather um, throughout the United States, hundreds of different kinds. There are uh, a couple that do not build cases. There's one called a free living caddisfly. And as its name suggests, it actually doesn't make a case for itself. There's also something called a net spinning caddisfly. And they don't make such an organized uh, case as these. They rather sort of secrete uh, their, their sticky tape and make sort of a messy jumble of stuff from the creek to cover up their bodies. But when you catch them, when you collect them from the stream, you're more often to collect them outside of any case. So the net spinners and the free livers are really the ones you'll see more without their cases. But uh, for the most part, caddisflies will build a wide variety of cases. You can find caddisflies in ponds too, and the ones you find in ponds will make very different types of cases than what you see here. So caddisflies are in incredible little macroinvertebrates simply for their engineering capabilities alone. And I suggest that you maybe do some more research and go online and find more pictures of different caddisfly cases because they're a fascinating, fascinating aquatic macroinvertebrate. Well worth a look. So that's just one of the aquatic macroinvertebrates I collected here in Briggs Gully today. But I collected a whole lot of other types. So there's a lot of abundance and diversity of aquatic macroinvertebrates here in Briggs Gully. And that's because this is a very high quality stream. So it has a lot of oxygen. It's got nice cool waters. There's not a lot of impact or pollution getting into it. So a lot of the macroinvertebrates I found in here today, like the one I showed you, are very sensitive, which means they can only live in high quality water like this. So we're fortunate that we have streams like this here in our region that support a great abundance and diversity of aquatic macroinvertebrates. Thanks for watching.